Hi, I'm James and this video is seven daily rules I follow to avoid burnout, to make me happy and feel fulfilled from studying. I've just finished my mechanical engineering exams at university and they were tough, but I use these seven daily rules to help me not lose my mind. So the first one I do is wake, move and solitude. And how I do this is I wake up early and I get outside by running or walking. Um, this one thing about being outside, getting sunlight in my eyes early in the morning makes me so much happier. It reduces my stress and my anxiety and makes me focus and have much better mental clarity throughout the day. The second thing I try and do is not to compare myself to who someone else is, but compare myself to who I was yesterday. And how I do this is when I was 14, I deleted all social media. And this was the biggest step for me because... I was always comparing myself to what everyone else is and I never actually looked myself in the mirror and looked myself in my eyes and became accountable to the person I wanted to become. The second thing I do to compare myself to who I was yesterday is a third rule. Plan your day the night before and how I do this is in the form of time blocking. I got this from deep work and what's so amazing about this is when I looked at my day, so it's up here. I looked at my day on my planner and I looked where I was spending my time, if you can see here. Um, I could look at it and see what makes me happy. I could review it at the end of the day and feel proud of myself. And this process of iterating over a day and creating a new day the next day allows you to build a philosophy for your day. Every day I try and schedule one thing for my mind, that's normally reading, one thing for my body, that's normally running or doing a hard workout. One thing for my heart, it's normally calling my friends or meeting my friends or spending time with my girlfriend. And when I do that, it makes me happy and makes me feel much more productive. I block it out from around seven till five and that allows me to get a lot more done. If I have that strict limit of saying, I'm gonna work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., I have to get all my work done in that period of time. And that really helps me be more productive because Parkinson's law. When you start doing this or you start using a Google calendar, whatever works for you, track all your time, track your tasks, do it the night before you go to bed. This is the most important part because when you do that, you wake up with a mission. You know what you need to be doing and you just get on with it. It's like you start the day and you just play Sims because you've planned what you're going to do the night before. Fourth tip now is to work early. When I used to play rugby, um, my coach always used to shout at us and say, work early, work early, because it's not when you have the ball you need to be working. You need to be working outside that to get the ball, you know what I'm trying to say. So it's very similar to studying as well. When you are trying to do one in an exam, you need to try and outwork everyone else around you. So I did this for my A-levels, I taught myself the whole of the A-levels. And that really helped me make it a much more active process and develop the ability to teach myself. And that working early ability has really helped me at university as well because I can just look at a lecture slide, teach myself it, take the important parts from it and memorize it. And how I do that is I've made a video on the channel, how I use Anki. Um, I synthesize it all into Anki and use that as an active recall and try and memorize it in a space repetition. So work early, teach yourself a subject and take responsibility for your learning. The fifth principle is keep it simple stupid. This is one thing I try and do with everything. I try and wear the same thing every day. I try and eat the same things every day and I try and do the same things every day. I try and live a boring life because it allows me to stop having to make decisions and I can just wake up and be on autopilot. So a couple of examples for this is in my routine, when I study, I study from 9 to 1 p.m. every day. And that allows me to know when I'm studying and have a time block of focus time. Sixth rule I try and follow is environment trumps will. Disciplined people are disciplined with their environment. For me, when I study, I try to go to my desk where that's the only place I study, or I try and go to the library and when I'm in that environment, it allows me to focus much more and I don't have to use my willpower because when I'm there, I just study because that's the place for it, that's the environment for it. 
people with food when the cookies are out in my kitchen. Um, I try and hide them. My girlfriend doesn't like it, but I hide them <laughs> because I don't want my environment to trump something that I don't want. So create an environment around you that helps you be more disciplined. Create your laptop so it's easy to open and easy to start reviewing flashcards. Like certain things like when you open your Google, um, have your calendar open to open automatically so you can see what you're doing. The seventh tip is sleep. I recommend to read the book Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. It's an amazing book that helped me understand why we sleep. It's the most important thing for studying. If you don't sleep properly, you won't learn and memorize the material that you're trying to learn. So I've, I've got friends at university who stay up all night to study for an exam and that's not efficient because the memorization actually happens in your sleep cycle, in the REM cycle of your sleep. So I try and go to sleep at the same time every night. I try and wake up at the same time every day and I try and get out first thing in the morning, the first rule. And this allows me to help me uh, help my sleep and makes me much more happier. I hope these tips have helped you in some sort of way and thank you very much for watching. Peace.